Hey, yo, check it, man. For a while, uh, get up out of here and go to this audition. I know everybody going crazy on the internet. Um, I know y'all seen the news. Let me just say this first. Before, you know, because y'all know how the media do, y'all. They always like to take things and spin them and the headlines will be reading. Bow Wow goes that cash money. This is far from that. What this is is something totally different. First and foremost, let me just say this. I got so much respect for Birdman, right? A lot of respect. This is a man who took the risk on signing me. Um, not only that, but a person who opened up his space to me, you know? We had so many ill conversations uh, that, I, that, that I learned from and that I take to that, that I take the heart. You know what I mean? Is you know, anytime you get a chance to be around somebody, you know, who who is as smart as he is, and uh, you know, who I consider a musical genius. I mean, you got to be, you got to have some type of genius genes to be able to put out the artists that he's put out over the last couple of years. And uh, anytime you get a chance to be around a person like that, you want to learn from him. And that's what I did. I'm, I'm an observer. I, I study, and I want to thank that man for that. You know what I'm saying? I want to thank him for that. I never had other issues that a lot of other artists are having. Uh, I never had that with him. So, you know, that's why this is not one of those situations. This is a is a peaceful situation. What this is, is me waking up, looking, looking at myself in the mirror and just analyzing myself and just asking myself, what is it that you want out of your career? What do you want to do? And I got everything in pocket and I have so much music that needs to be heard and that wants to be heard from my fans. And uh, I just feel like it's unfair. You know, I, you know, I've been quiet now for four years. I didn't want to say nothing because um, I wanted to wait until the time was right. And I wanted to make sure that when I said what I wanted to say, it was it, it was it was said correctly. And with that being said, I just feel like I had to part ways. y'all. Um, I want to dictate when my music come out. You know, I'm tired of going to the studio, making records. And then, you know, I listen to them because then they get old. You know, what I mean, then y'all ask for new music. And when I put it out, it's like I don't even want to hear it because I've been listening to it for three, two months or two or three months. And um. That has to stop, man. I got so many records, man, and, and they just got to be heard. I feel like it's unfair. And I just can't be held up by nobody, y'all. You know, it's as simple as that, man. I, you know, the will got to keep moving. I got a daughter. I got a family. I got to provide for, man. And I got to just keep the will moving. It don't stop, you know. Um, I feel like I've been, like I said, I've been doing this for so long, man. Since five years old, I, I should have the, the knowledge. I should know what it takes by now to succeed in this business. I don't really need a crutch or a handicap no more. And, um... You know, I also wanted to get back with guys who knew Bow Wow, who knew what I'm about, my brand, my music, my sound, my everything. And why not go back to the creators, the masters who branded me and who brought me to the world? And that's Snoop Dogg and Jermaine Dupree. Now that I have both of them in cahoots with each other, this is only going to make my new situation even more monumental. And, you know, now I have two iconic legends who are backing me up 1,000%, and that's all I wanted. I just wanted a team that believed in me. I wanted a team who, you know, understood my vision and was ready to go to war with me. I'm not saying that they didn't want to do that, but, you know, it's the fact that the time is ticking, man, and I, and I ain't got time to waste. I got fans out here in the world, all even through Europe, everywhere, all around the world, that want to hear that new Bow Wow shit. And y'all know I got that new hot shit, and I'm going to give it to y'all, but it has to be the right way. And I feel like this was just one step on me getting to that point to where I need to be. That's all it is, y'all. I just really wanted to be my own man. I wanted to be a boss. I wanted to call my own shots. You know, I got Indie Vodka, which I own. Asphalt Yacht Club, y'all know. Um, my film my film career, of course, I got a, 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 a tight hold tight hold on that. Um, but, you know, my music, I, I never really had full control over my music career. And now I do. And that's something I always wanted. So today is a special day for me because now I'm fish, I am officially a boss. I don't work for nobody. I work for myself. I don't mind working for CBS. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. I do work for somebody. Right? I work for C I work for CBS. But them checks is crazy. So I don't mind working for them. Okay? I don't mind. And, you know, that's something totally different. But I'm in good spirits, man, and y'all should be too. Like I said, this is no bad blood moment. I got number love for Birdman. I got number love for, for Slim and Cash Money. It's just a situation that just didn't work out. We 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 wish that it did. I you know, I wish I I wish that, you know, the marriage worked. I wish I went over there and we was able to put out hit records. Trust me, I would have loved that. You know, I, I would have loved to go to another team and win the ring like Shaq did. You know, I would have loved to look at my wall and see them plaques and they say Cash Money Universe. I would have loved that. But, you know, God has, you know, God has this whole thing mapped out. And I feel like this is just the route that he wants me to go. So, um, all my fans, y'all get ready. The music is definitely coming. I've been in the studio going crazy. Um, 
The single's being mixed right now, produced by Jermaine Dupree. And, and I'm back. It's time. You know, I, I gave these niggas a, a couple years to do what they got to do as far as all these other artists in the game. And now it's time. It's, 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 it's time, man. It's time. It's been past due. I'm hungry. I feel like a brand new artist all over again. And I can't wait for y'all to get the new music. So, I don't want y'all to take this as, you know, uh, cash money versus bow. It's nothing like that as far from that. Like I said, Stunner is my people's. I love that dude. It's just the fact that it's time for Bow to grow and become a man and step out and accept this challenge. And if I, and if I bump my head, which I know I'm not, then so be it. I'd rather bump my head being a man and taking on that challenge than having somebody hold my hand the whole way and telling me when to do this and when to do that. I can't work like that. I just can't. I, I, I can't I can't work on nobody else's time. It's got to be my time or nothing. So with that being said, y'all get ready for the new shit. It's coming. I'm locked and loaded. Y'all get ready. And trust me. Trust me. I ain't going to let y'all down. I swear, I put that on my mama. I'm not going to let y'all down, y'all.